All right, painting is a good way to tap into your creative side, de-stress, and have a little fun. That's exactly what we're doing today. We've got creativity coach Cheryl Gatsy in the house joining us now to show us how to paint using some, it's not really unusual tools. No. I mean. Some are. I have some other. These are usual These tools. are usual tools because we're finger painting tools. today. These are our natural tools. That's right. So I've rolled up my sleeves. He's ready to go. Got the apron on. It's about to go down. Right. Um, so how are we going to start here? What is our inspiration for today. You know, I get inspiration from everywhere. It might be mm -hmm. my, my shirt I'm wearing. I look at pictures to kind of inspire me. I look at other artists. Mm -hmm. it's, it's okay to copy other artists. It's not copying, it's emulating, it, right? No, actually, Picasso no? said steal like an artist. Did he That's really? The, you're really a great artist if you steal like an artist. So oh, okay. I've looked at other folks' things and I look <laughs> at my own pictures and just kind of get my inspiration. So here's okay. what's fun about finger painting. People are intimidated sometimes by painting. Mm -hmm. You know, and a paintbrush is a tool that you've got to learn to manipulate. Yeah. We got fingers. We can do a lot of fun things, but here's what's cool about it. You're in touch with the paint. Yes, and you in can, more ways than one. <laughs> absolutely. And you can um, experiment with mixing colors mm -hmm. on your fingers and on the on the canvas, get some texture going on. So I I just use all of my fingers sometimes. Here's what's cool about making a, a flower is not just one color. Usually you see multiple colors. Oh yeah, you don't just a get a normal red so flower. So I'm dipping my finger in blue and white mm -hmm. and kind of doing, oh, these could be blue oh. bonnets or lupine. Okay, I they see what you're doing They could be whatever. There. So, or you could Can just I go? do some, Can I try go, here? do what you okay. want to do. I'm going to go there. You know, and finger painting is great for abstract, just doing something that is mm -hmm. free and wonderful and colorful. Yeah, and just layer it on there, and that's what's fun about it. Okay. And there's no right or wrong to this, you know? Because everything, even if you kind of think like you mess up, you just kind of redo it again, That's right. right? You, what's wonderful about acrylic paint, and that's what this is, it washes off pretty easily, mm -hmm. is you can layer. And I think what makes flowers beautiful, if you're doing, oh, look, you've got it going. Just, and no, don't over mix, just kind of no. dab in a couple different colors. Okay. And mix it on there, and you've got a, an impressionist. An impressionist. Look at a flower. Can it doesn't you, have to be exact. Is, can it kind of describe, like, uh, this is where I fell asleep in art class. What's the impressionist and, and the different types of, of well, painting? Well, you've got realism. Kind of re you've got realism where the picture is, looks exactly like what you see. Like the Andy Warhol, can, like soup cans or something? Yeah, that yeah, be? it looks okay. exactly All like right. what you see. Impressionist is the artist impression of what you see. Mm -hmm. It's not exact. It's color and light and shade and form that creates an image that makes you think of what does that Oops. make you think of when you look at that? That looks like my grandmother's flower garden. Field of flowers, a flower garden. Mm -hmm. So I didn't paint every little petal. No. I dabbed it on by sticking my fingers in multi layers okay. of paint. And you can get a really fun, of, fun Ooh, effect. Yeah. And I love the different colors you get when you blend them. That Absolutely. was always, I was, I think I, I was the color between the lines kind of kid. Yeah. You know, so and I was always great. scared to, to go outside of the lines. And it doesn't have to be one color. Pick up two colors. Mm -hmm. Where you've got multiple fingers, pick up a different color with each finger. You don't have to have just one brush with one color well, in it. Speaking of brushes here, you have, maybe it's not your typical um, paintbrush over here. Are you, are you using that at all today? Oh, absolutely. Okay. We can take things like a toothbrush and get a fun little splatter effect. Oh, that's cool. That we've got little techniques in it. And then when I was trying to paint the lilacs, my fingers were a little too chubby for the delicacy of a lilac. Mm -hmm. So I've got Q-tips. Oh, that that's I've a great bound idea. Together. You've got some in front here too. So you can just dip, you don't need no stinking brushes. No you can brushes. You with things around the house. Yeah. So I can just, you dip the paint, on in, the Q-tip in the paint. Dip a couple colors. Now see, you're going for one color. Oh, that's fun. See, is that okay? See, I'm trying to go that's on the, cool. that's I don't really know what it is, look. but yeah. It's kind of a cacti See, I'm look. Just, I'm, so just, I'm, just, I'm just trying just to go, because you know today is, is the first day of spring. First day of spring. So let's, I'm trying to think of things are going to be in bloom. That's they're right. They're going to be colorful. They're going to be pinks. There's greens. There's blues. That's there's, right. Let's spring forward and try something new. Okay. Let's let's get expressive. That's what I'm Dip trying here. Dip it in here. two colors. Two I colors. I you're going for one right. color. When you well, look at things in nature, do you see just one color? I don't. You see multiple. Let's now red see. and green, what are you going to get when you mix red and green? Christmas. Yeah, or brown. <laughs> oh, or brown. brown. But it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Dang it. Opposites on the... It's an experience. But I'll add some white to it there, there too. There you go. How you about that? Then there we'll just kind of like throw some other stuff. Oh, that's oh, called too oh, white. Oh, but no, we, it's cool. We, add another color on top of it. Ooh, Oh, and maybe fine. some more greens or... No, Shit. yellows. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. 
See that, Cheryl? That's why we appreciate right. you here. Because if fun. I had more art teachers like you, I think in, right. in elementary school, I would have been a much better artist. But now I just report the traffic and host better Kansas City. It's, it's never too late. It's never too late to let your inner artist out. I'm going to be doing a class in. Uh, on these spring flowers okay. at Expressive Studio in North Kansas City. Beautiful. So we've got all the tools and all the materials and inspiration you need, and we right. play around with technique. Well, my flowers might not have come out the way that I wanted, but I think my sun's still pretty good. It's beautiful. All right. Thank you, Cheryl. You're beautiful as well. Thank you.